Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a part 6 of Python tutorial course using Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, we'll explain about the file handling. Create a new file, read the file, write the file and rename the file. After that, we'll delete that file. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous Python tutorial course. You will get those links at the end of this video tutorial. Now let's start the today's tutorial. File handling. First in Python, how to read an existing file. So let's create one simple text file. This is not bad. This is simple text file and I am saving this file in the root folder where my python files are saving. On the desktop the folder name is python tutorials. Sample dot txt save now let's check in the python tutorials folder we have sample.txt file now i want to read this sample.txt file from python read file equals to I'm adding the open method in this open method between double quotes I'm adding our file name which is a sample.txt as is capital sample.txt comma after that I'm adding shift tab Notice when I click shift tab, I got some options here, mode is equals to R, which means the text mode I want to read, R means read, let's add that one, mode is equals to R, then, then let's declare another variable, get file is equals to read file dot tab when I click tab notice I got a small pop-up window which contains all the um, file functions from these functions I'm selecting the read method after read method I want to print get file name this variable now let's run this Code. See here we got the output. This is a simple text file, which is our output. See, this is a simple text file. Let's close this one. Now the next tutorial: how to read the file which is not in the root folder. For example. We notice the lesson CSS is a text file is on a desktop. I want to read this file, and this file is out of my root folder. So let's write the code. So instead of sample.txt, what I'm doing, I will add the complete path. right click the mouse go to properties notice in the properties this is a location copy this location paste that one and backward slash the file name is lesson css dot 
txt and notice when I run this code see here I got an error the unicode escape so to fix this error we need to add we need to add backward slashes two backward slashes in the path Now let's check the output run. See here we got the text. Now the next tutorial how to create a new file. Now let's declare a variable new file is equals to open method. In this open method I'm adding the file name the new file txt. In this file I want to create and my root folder python tutorials here in this folder after that comma shift tab notice here when I click shift tab I got some options for this op op open method when I click plus here we got some more options here so so here we got some options here we can use so we can add a new file more is equals to between double quotes I'm adding double u or x then let's print mm, file is created let's execute run so here we got a message file is created successfully now we'll check so here new file dot txt file now the next method will use how to write the file now the next tutorial how to write a file let's add some text in this file the mode instead of x I'm adding w w is to write the content after that just delete this one new file dot write method see here write method after write the method we must close the file new file dot close method then print file save successfully we need to add some text here this is a new file just created I want to save this text in this new file.txt let's execute run see here we got a message file saved successfully we'll check the output new file.txt see here this is the new file just created let's read the file also here just copy this one read the file instead of this file name I'm adding new file.txt let's run see this is a new file just created now I will show you the second method how to read the file using with keyword so with adding the open method in this open method I'm adding this file name comma up as x colon when I click enter notice I got the indent here here let's declare the variable read file is equals to x dot 
read method then print read file so this is the second method to read the file using with keyword see here see here this is a new file just created now the next how to rename the file to rename the existing file we need to import os import os then then in this os we have a method called rename click tab so here we got a rename method here just add the rename method uh, takes two parameters the first parameter is a old file name and the second parameter is a new file name so between double quotes the file name I'm adding new file.txt comma I'm changing the file name the new file name is file name new dot txt now I'm changing this new file to file name new dot txt file so let's run its executor let's check in this folder so here the file name new dot txt the file name has been changed successfully now the next now the next how to remove the file from the folder to remove the file from a folder instead of rename I'm adding remove method see remove method the remove file name this is the file name I want to remove print file remote successfully now before I execute this statement let's check the file name new.txt is available now let's run this code the file removed successfully let's check see the file has been removed from this folder now the next tutorial how to copy a file from one file to another file using with keyword in python with first I am reading the file with the open method with double quotes the file name is sample.txt let's check this file in sample.txt this is the content we have so let's write sample.txt in read file after that I'm adding column remember when we are using with keyboard we must add at the end of this line using colon after that automatically it will give some indent it's a gap then we'll write the file with open method in this open method I'm writing the file name xyz.txt and this xyz.txt file which is not available in this folder so I'm creating a new folder then with the mode w which is a write mode in the write file which is the object now let's copy this sample.txt file into xyz.txt so for that I'm adding file um, copy file in oh, sorry friends here the as it's as here, as here in copy file in read file I'm copying the read file after read the file into this copy file object then colon 
we'll add this copy file into this write file write file dot write method in this write method I am adding this copy file then print file copied successfully that's it let's run this code so here we got a message file copied successfully we we'll check the output so here xyz.txt file is created now let's open xyz.txt file see this is simple text file in xyz.txt this is the original file we have just copied this sample.txt into xyz.txt file 